Hi, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to go through something with you that's really going to change your trading. And this is something that is guaranteed if you're watching this video and you actually understand the implications of what I am talking about here. So I'm going to tell you the secrets of why people lose money trading and the things that your broker does not want you to know. Your, um, your, 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 Everyone who is losing money does not know this information. So right here, I'm looking at the euro dollar uh, price action. So this is the price chart, which is showing me the the daily the daily price movement. Here I'm on investing.com. Here this is this is what we're looking at, and um, I'm just I'm just looking at the euro dollar, and it's showing me this daily price movement. And here is just showing me the, the historical daily data of the past 21 days. So in a trading week, we have about five trading days in a week. So this represents an entire trading month of 5, 10, 15, 20 days, 21 days. So this is if you don't include the opening day, which is an overlap of the Sunday evening. So roughly speaking, we have 20 days and this is what we're looking at. So this is the date, the price, the open, the high, the low and the change. And the euro dollar is the, 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 the pair that I picked because when brokers and other people, when they talk about trading, when they speak about what's up in the market, they always say that you should trade the euro dollar because it's the most liquid. So we're always talking up, we're always hearing about liquidity, liquidity this, liquidity that. And liquidity is certainly important, but not in this way. Liquidity simply means that the the currency pairs are being traded, which means that it's easy to buy it and it's easy to sell it. But liquidity means that it's also easy for you to drown instead of you staying afloat. When we're talking about trading, we're talking about trading currencies and other securities. But here specifically, we're looking at a currency and a current is a flow of water and liquidity is how people drown. This is how they lose their money. So this liquidity is very dangerous if you do not understand how it actually works. So liquidity and volatility are two things that you should take note of. Volatility is more important than liquidity when you want to make money as a retail trader. The reason I'm saying this is because liquidity simply means that it's easy for you to drown, but volatility is volume, velocity, and movement. So when we talk about velocity, when we talk about volume, we, we are, we are, we're talking about how you actually make money. So I, I, I just, I just want to show you, I just want to break it down in a short space of time that will really change your trading forever if you understand the implications of what I'm talking about. So here we're looking at a month's worth of data. We're looking at the price, the open, the high and the low. The most important part is the change. So what I want you to notice is that in this entire month, the currency, the most liquid currency pair in the world did not really move. Sometimes it moved 0%, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.3 on some days. Some days it didn't even move 0.05%, 0 0.14, 0 0.27, 0 0.04, minus 0 0.04. 0 0.04 minus 0 0.1 0. Point, so these moves are, in, are really really small sometimes they are so insignificant that you don't even notice that it's moving however the biggest move was minus one percent in the entire trading month we have minus one percent being the biggest move in the entire trading month so how you process this data is very important because it means that when you expect the most liquid currency in the world to move, some people have been placing trades when the market barely moved. I'm pretty sure on the 28th of February, when the market moved 0.02%, some people were actually placing trades. 
and some people lost money. And this is why 90% of the traders lose 90% of their capital within 90 days. In some cases, it's just 90 minutes. But all of these are representing days, an entire month. And within the entire month, the biggest move was one pence, one, minus 1%. One and the second biggest move was zero minus 0.51 percent and this happened in such like this happened at opposite ends of this time period so i just want us to to just take a closer look at this and and i really uh want to show you what this all means so people don't don't get what exactly is 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 is, is happening within the market so here we have this data we have the date the price the open high and the low and the close so here i want us to just go through through the um, through the change and look at the average move in the entire month and this is going to be very interesting because the average will show us um what uh you would expect for the entire month so here let's just uh put in the formula for this average of this entire entire uh, entire time frame so here we have this number 0 0.00041 so I'm just gonna make this more legible here and uh, just uh, turn it into 0 minus 0 0.04 percent so this number right here this is the average move for an entire month so i just want you to take a moment and appreciate and digest this number <laughs> the the average move in 21 days of the most liquid of the most liquid asset in the currency realm was minus 0.04 percent Okay, so you can actually verify this on your own. Uh, you can do the math, you can do the numbers. But what I want you to appreciate is the fact that this liquidity is not always your friend. So, so you, can, you can go through this and actually look at other time periods. And you see that this pattern is actually recurring. And when you get this information, when you get this data, and when you know what to do with it, you'll be unstoppable. All right, so I just want us to, to look at this a little bit closer right now, and we're just gonna make our own chart, okay? So we have this, but uh, let, me, let me make it face the right side, okay? So here, here we now have this chart, and um, so, so this is the Euro dollar, and this is how it was moving. So this entire time, it went from this place and it reached this high. From this high, it started to drop. Granted, this drop was about 1.7% um, 1. In, in this move. However, the change from day to day was minus, minus 0.04%. So how much money can you make with these changes? Imagine you're trading intraday. So all of these opportunities are embodied in this data. Whatever was happening, the closes and the highs and the lows are these uh, changes in price. So everything that we see from the 11th of February to the 10th of March is what is in the chart right now so the only time the the price actually moved down was from this point to that point so this is from the 26th of february to the to the 7th of march so we have um about 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 seven to eight days so we can just say the breakdown occurred here so from the 1st of march to the 7th of march so we just say like seven days the price moved down continuously out of a month. So this is a third of this entire data set. So 
two thirds of the time, all you had to do was to stay put and do nothing. Two thirds of the time, two thirds of the month. And the entire move was only enjoyed within seven days while you had to just watch while price did nothing literally sometimes it was 0.06 percent uh, gain and these are the up days that we're looking at in green sometimes these up days were 0.14 percent these are here so these moves are very small you could have made some money but the fact of the matter is there was very little volatility the biggest day was on march the 7th uh, march 7th okay so so when when we're looking at all of this information we'll see that whatever happened this was the sixth the sixth to the seventh and this is the one percent drop that we're talking about and the rest of this is a uh, 0.72 percent uh, decline in price so what was happening was just thin liquidity and you have to understand the 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 direction of volatility and what it actually means to your PL at the end of the day so when you're looking at this information you have to really understand the the, the implications of what we're just going through here and um, this is one of the intricacies that i've seen in the market that you you don't find anywhere and no one actually ever talks about trading is the hardest way to make easy money and the problem with most of the the, the trading that occurs is that the people who probably informed you about trading on and educated you about trading have probably given you the wrong information most of the people who might see this video might not know this information and might be hearing this for the first time and if you're not then that's great but if you are then it means that there is some information that you still need to to know so that you can actually profit from because most of the people are actually trading blind they believe that liquidity is going to help them liquidity is good if you know what it's meant for and if you know where to look for liquidity liquidity is the most important aspect in your trading but not when you're looking for it in the euro dollar liquidity is not good in the euro dollar but what's important is the volatility so when you want to determine volatility you have to know where exactly to find it and with all of these tiny moves you have to realize how to manipulate the market into your favor so that you can actually start making money but the first step to doing this is to swallow the blue pill i think it's the blue pill yeah and you can now see this matrix for what it really is the brokers the 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 the, the educators everyone who who hasn't told you this stuff is not telling you this because they either don't know it or they can't see it but now that you can see it for what it really is it means that you have an edge in the market and now you can see with clear eyes and now you know exactly what's going on and with this information then you're equipped to make better trades and better decisions so in this video this is what i wanted to really show you and um, this is what i want to this is the point that i want to get across that in um in a trading month the biggest move was minus one percent and people often imagine that they have um 10 percent moves in a day or something like that that's what i used to think when i was new to trading in fact i never even imagined that this was something to even consider but if you consider this then you're now having a professional outlook on what you're actually doing and in Jesse Livermore's book, um, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, he, he stresses the point that he began to make money when he began to develop a professional outlook. The only reason why I'm sharing this with you is so that you can also enjoy the financial freedom that comes with trading. And if I found this uh, useful, I hope that you can also find it useful because um, hopefully, hopefully, 
you'll be able to profit from this information and from whatever else that you want to do through your trading. But this is a key element that I'm sharing with you quite frankly for free, which is some information that I don't know if you could get for free, but um, this is um, uh, you spending this much time watching this and listening to this. So thank you so much for your time. And I really appreciate um, this. And I hope that in your trading, you're also going to be profitable and you're going to get everything that you want out of it. If you want to uh, hear more from me, you know how to get in touch with me. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.